The entire world is in really deep trouble with the rapidly advancing land degradation leading us into increasing social and economic disaster. No society, business or individual can exist without healthy food, water or air, which come from nature. Everything we use, consume and need to stay alive comes from nature. No nation on earth can have social or economic stability if they destroy their environment. Nature at scale is managed by governments and the production of all food and fibre from the world's land and waters falls under agriculture, which is now the most destructive extractive industry on the planet and it threatens all civilization. We now know why our policies and our management are causing our problems and we know how to fix it. But fixing it involves us accepting new knowledge which we're not good at and having to make a conscious paradigm shift in our decision-making process at both individual and organizational level. Every nation has literally hundreds of particularly agricultural experts, many with PhDs, all pushing governments to use their particular solutions, but they are failing because there are no experts with any knowledge of how to manage complexity and help governments to filter the siloed expert advice that they're getting so that they can develop agricultural policies that will simultaneously cater for the complexity of human society, nature and the national economy that all their policies are impacting. Right now, all nations have hundreds of people advising their governments what they should do. The Australian government alone has more than 40 agricultural organisations advising them and the result is just confusion and disorder. And that's the same reason the 25 global conferences of experts on climate change result in total confusion and chaos every single time. Pretty much all the knowledge that we need in agriculture is already available. That's not the problem and it's not what is lacking. What is lacking is the expertise to help governments develop complex social, environmental and economic policies. So I personally really want Zimbabwe to be the first nation in history to put that right and I'm focusing on that happening. But in reality, if we could have any government be the first to stop all the confusing expert advice on what the government should do or provide and with the help of Alan Savory and a small policy task force engage us to provide the facilitation skills to enable any government to develop an agricultural policy that the whole world dreams of, one that works for and secures the future for all citizens by literally becoming the first nation to produce more food than dead eroding soil. The risk of any government developing policy like this is zero. The reward is priceless.